students, welcome to class. In case this is the first time you're meeting me, I am Miss Katie, that vegan teacher. I'm situated here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Um, right now, at the time you're watching this video, I'm 57 years old and I have been vegan for just over five years. I became vegan on June 27th, 2016. That was my happy vegan declaration day. What about you guys? Write it in the comments below. Are you vegan yet? When was your vegan declaration day? Anyway, while you are doing that, I am going to be starting this video here. We're looking at a TV show for kids called Coco Melon. What we're looking for is specifically that they are going to be talking about whole foods. They are supposed to, in their presentation, be talking about whole foods, not processed foods, and they are also supposed to be adding a song here. And one of the songs that we have here at Miss Katie's school, I'm just going to find the words here, I had them here, oh, is about plants not feeling pain. So. As long as they have a good song that's about plants and about not harming animals, that sort of thing, it's all good. This is one that we sing here. Plants don't feel pain, they don't have a brain, they don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart, you know where to start. Share this song and be vegan from now on. So that's one of the songs that we sing here. So let's have a look and see if they are going to meet this criteria. As usual, we are going to be evaluating things that we like, we give a check mark to, and things that we don't like, we give an X. We're also expecting them to be promoting all kinds of vegan foods. So let's go. Looking forward to this. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> They're all cooking as a family. That's good. You got the dad's dad in there with his sleeves rolled up. Everybody's participating. Great family activity. I just happen personally to love this kitchen. It's so colorful. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. Start to eat the dough. Then we toss, toss, toss. Yummy, yummy pizza for our family. Oh, interesting. Adding another language. Teaching kids another language. That's good. I'll give that a check mark. I like that. Yeah, why not? You know, when kids are young, it's a perfect time to start introducing different languages. And the more languages that you learn, the better. And kids are incredible. They're like sponges. They can just soak in many different languages. Sometimes you got one parent that's teaching one language and the other parent is teaching another and then the grandparent teaching a, a third. And then they go to, a, let's say, a French school or whatever. And it can become amazing. Kids just soak it in. So that's it. <laughs> I just noticed the guy has a pizza on his head. Okay, I'm not sure how sanitary that is, but I guess it's going to go in the oven. So... I guess it'll burn off all the germs. <laughs> you know, one thing I noticed though in this shows, these kind of shows, have you ever noticed that every time something goes bizarre like that, something goes a little bit wrong, it's always the dad that's the clown. So, you know what I would like to see one time? I'm not going to give an X for this or anything. It was just a commentary that I noticed. Like, it would, it's rare that the, it would be the mom who has the pizza on her head. It, the mom's always sort of more the voice of reason and the dad's sort of more the goofball. But anyway, I just thought it's interesting. It would be, it would be interesting to have them do it in reverse. Let's all grab a cup. Yeah. Then okay. we cut, cut, cut. Oh. Yummy, yummy pizza for our familia. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Those are very small pizzas, though, for the kids. So. Okay. Uh -huh. oh. Tomato sauce? <gasps> Is that vegan? I think it's vegan. Check! Check mark! Okay, got our first vegan food there. Good. So far, so good. Next, we spread the sauce <laughs> with a swirl, swirl, swirl. Yummy, yummy, yummy pizza for our <gasps> familia. <gasps> pizza we like it creative check all right why not okay I've never had blueberries on pizza have you 
I've had pineapple. That was good. Raise your hand if you like pineapple on your pizza. Oh, I like it. I like anytime there's salty mixed up with some sweet. That's really good. Uh, you know, I also, one time I was at Mont Tremblant. I don't know if you guys know where that is, but I'm in Quebec here, and you just drive up into the mountains. It's a famous ski hill, actually. And there they had this pizza place that had, had corn on it. He had beans on it, little bits of carrot, but I mean, like, just a little bit, but just enough to make it super colorful, and it was actually really good. I know it sounds crazy, but it was. It was really good. Now, we're just really crossing our fingers here that they're not going to show any animal products because, you know, if they do, they automatically get 10 X's. So, so far, so good. Yay! Go, Coco Melon! <laughs> Lots of toppings we can try, try, try. Okay, what she got there? Yummy pizza for our familia. Cheese? Did you guys hear vegan cheese? Oh, damn. I'm gonna go back. Maybe maybe I missed it. What have they got there? Olives? What is that? Basil? Peppers? Mushrooms? Shh, they didn't say vegan cheese. <laughs> Guys, you cannot be promoting cheese to children. Cheese is like a poison. It is full of fat, it is full of salt, and it comes from a cycle of violence. It's not okay. You forgot to say vegan cheese. You must say vegan cheese. Vegan. That way it's not coming from a cycle of violence. Here's what happens in the dairy industry. They force the males to give up their sperm. They touch them inappropriately and they steal their sperm. They force it into a female against her will. That's called rape. That's not okay. After the baby is born, they take the baby and they slit his neck because he's never going to be able to give milk. Can you imagine doing that to these innocent animals? You must watch the documentary called WatchDominion.com. I don't know where my paper is. I have a little card for that. Let me see if I can find it. I have so many cards here now. Let me see. Look, I can't, I'm trying to keep them organized in this thing here. Is this? Oh yeah, here, you got to watch this to know what's happening, really. It's awful what they do in the dairy industry. Never buy products from the dairy industry. No cow milk, no cheese, no, no ice cream or yogurt that comes from cow milk. Always only get the vegan versions. Promote vegan foods. I'm sorry, Coco Melon, but you gotta get 10 X's for this. Very disappointing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Maybe you'll catch up with the check marks. Let's see. Peppers. Yeah, peppers. We like peppers. Olive. Yes, peppers. Check mark. Okay, good. Check mark. Vegetable. Cheese. You're saying it again? Why? Just say vegan cheese and I can give you a beautiful check mark. Another 10 X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aw, oh, come on, Coco Melon. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms. Check. What did he say? Basil? Oh, nice. How beautiful. Don't you just love that color? It's one of my favorite colors, sort of a light green. It reminds me of summer and spring. Mm. But you know what? That's not enough on there. Hopefully they're going to put a ton more. You've got to have a lot of green leafy vegetables every day. And what is with putting, putting the olives like that kind of like all over the place? Did I, did they even save olives yet? Wait, I'm going to go back. Cheese. Cheese. Peppers. Yeah. Peppers. Olives. Yeah, yeah, olives. Check. Cheese. No. Mushrooms. Oh my God. This is terrible. Come on, guys. Mushrooms, you get a check. Cheese. What? A third time you're saying cheese without saying vegan cheese? You forgot to say vegan cheese. Vegan. Something that is made from plants. 
Vegan cheese can be made from tofu. It can be made from different kinds of nuts. Come on, guys. It's so easy to not be part of this cycle of violence. Why don't you teach the kids proper morals? If you took these kids and you said to them, here, do you want this cheese that comes from murdering this baby boy cow, stealing the milk that belongs to him? Or would you like a cheese that comes from plants? Every single kid would say, oh, I don't want you to kill the baby cow. So why on earth would you promote this? Look at these cute kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Terrible. Here. We have no right to hurt innocent animals just for our taste pleasure. And every time you consume cheese, it is like paying for the murder of animals. You people who are vegetarian, who think you're doing good, think again, you're not. Being vegetarian is not good enough. It's not good enough to just not eat dead animals. You must also be vegan and not eat eggs because eggs also come from a cycle of violence where they murder the baby boy chicks at just one day old because they will never be able to lay eggs. They put them on this giant conveyor belt and they murder them. They cut them up into a million pieces and it's wrong. But thankfully, we haven't heard them talking about eggs yet. And I don't think they're going to put eggs on the pizza. But you never know. People with, you know, these carnist people, they just come up with weird things. Anyway, we're crossing our fingers. Come on, Coco Melon. Do something good. <laughs> I don't know, making it seem like this cheese falling from the sky is like somehow a gift from heaven, like it's, like, like it's some sort of snowfall, like come on. You know, it's okay to play with your food, by the way, but not to throw it in the air. It's okay to like make piles of it and shape it into different animals and things like that, but don't just throw it all over the place. <laughs> Okay, uh, so yeah, okay, I'm not sure what to make of this. So the kid for some reason thought he needed a pile of cheese, which is not good. But the mom is taking it off. So I'm going to take that as a good sign. Check. Good job, mom. Amelia. Wait, what is that? Is that an onion on their faces? Is that an onion? What is that? Is that cheese? If that's onion, then you know, these kids are going to be bawling their eyes out. That's going to make them cry. What the heck is that? Okay, I don't even know what to do. I'm not going to put an X or a check mark because I'm lost. I mean, did I miss something? Maybe I blinked and you guys know, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we made a yummy pizza. No, we eat some pizza. So let's all eat our pizza. See? Okay, the grandparents are over. You know what's really weird about this also? Do you ever notice when they have cartoon, women's feet are like the size of like nothing? Look at her feet. His feet are about like three or four times bigger than hers. Like why? Is it considered to be like not feminine enough to give her an actual pair of normal feet? And is she barefoot? What is she walking around barefoot as well? She doesn't get to have a pair of shoes? Maybe she took them off at the door. Maybe she was polite. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to give an X or a check mark for that. It's just an observation. Oh, that's cute. But still, did you see that pizza? That had way, way too much cheese. Even if it was vegan cheese, that was still too much. Okay, you see that? Look at the percentage of cheese on there versus the green stuff. The green stuff should be a lot. They should also have some broccoli on there. You should be eating cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli is a cruciferous vegetable and you should have other vegetables as well. More in abundance, like more, more mushrooms and, and more peppers, that sort of thing. You know, cheese is just sort of like a little decoration on there, not too much. So do I give an X for that? Well, they got a heart on there, so a heart on, a heart on. <laughs> <laughs> to get a heart on. A, a heart on the pizza. Okay, no, I, I'm not going to go there. Let's keep listening. <laughs> you know what I like though? The grandmother has gray hair, normal gray hair. She doesn't try to cover it up. Like a lot of these uh, older women do, they always try to make their hair blonde or some other color. Like, that's good. She has a natural color. That's good. You know, because the men, they always let, let them, they always let them have gray hair and look, he's got a mustache and whatever. It's like, 
Looks like more like a normal person. So good job on the on the gray hair for grandma. I'm gonna give you a check mark for that. Because I like that. Teaching kids that getting old is normal and maybe just give her some bigger feet next time, yeah. <laughs> Just, just that, guys, I could eat almost that whole pizza by myself. How about you guys? Does that seem like enough food for everyone? Yeah, I guess maybe four adults each get a quarter. Anyway, where's the drink? Where's the water? Water should be the drink of choice, but at least you're not drinking cow's milk, so that's good. Check mark for Coco Melon for that. Okay. Good. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. Remember to stop eating animals and remember to tell the truth to kids. I have one here that says, tell the truth to kids. Where's my little sign? I have a sign. Oh, anyway, oh, I can't find that one, but I'm gonna remind you about this. Today is your happy vegan declaration day. I am very proud of you. Don't forget to make a little sign, put it on your fridge. Today might be the day that you're only getting one of your clicks, right? It takes 100 clicks to become vegan. You gotta get the message in your head that the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics has stated that a vegan diet is appropriate for all stages of development, no matter your age, race, religion, sexual orientation, whatever. Everyone can strive to be vegan, so that's good. And the thing is that you become vegan gradually. You get the clicks, you get it in your head, you get the message in your heart that it's not good for, to eat animals or exploit them in any way. And then one day you just realize, hey, you know what? I, I've been vegan for a while now and I don't remember when. So if today is the day that you declare you wanna be vegan, make sure you write it down and put a little note on your fridge or something and just say, happy vegan declaration day to me and write down the date, all right? So Coco Melon gets, well, what do you guys think? They, unfortunately, they got a whole bunch of excess because they said cheese three times without saying vegan cheese. But they're getting a bit better. At least they have some check marks. You know, at least they didn't have any dead animals on the pizza, so that's good. Maybe I should give them another check mark for that. No dead animals on the pizza, yeah! Way to go, Coco, Coco Melon, there you go. All right, so thank you everyone for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press the notification bell so you can help me get these animals out of hell. And if you haven't given yourself a, che a nice big um, check mark, I was gonna say check mark, but a check mark in the, in the form of, let's say a hug. You gotta hug yourself. Did you hug yourself yet today? Did you? Give yourself a hug. Because you are the only person who is consistently going to be there. People come and go, but you are always going to be your biggest cheerleader. So treat yourself well. Give yourself a big squeeze and say, hey, good job. You're trying. Good job. And if you mess up, just try again. That's it. You know, it's like when you're learning to ride your bike, you fall off. Yeah, you get back off and you try again. Thank you everyone for being vegan and coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Click on them. Have a look around. There's videos where I'm outside of McDonald's. There's one where I'm outside of A&W. Um, I'm talking about how these places are hell holes. And there's also ones where I evaluate other people's channels such as SS Sniper Wolf, Darman, uh, Mr. Beast, all kinds of people. Gordon Ramsay, that evil man. He pays for the rape, torture, and murder of innocent animals. A lot of these people do. Even Call Me Chris is not yet vegan, unfortunately. But we're working on them, and soon the whole world will head towards being vegan because all it means is that you do your best to not hurt animals. How hard is that? It's super easy. When you go shopping, you just put veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds in your shopping cart because peace begins on your plate. So open up your heart and be vegan from now on. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now. Do, 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 do.